hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel programming knowledge in today's microsoft excel vba video we are going to see a very important thing and that is how can we hide and unhide the rows and columns in microsoft excel using the visual basic code so first of all let us understand that what is this feature and where is it useful Suppose you have selected uh, a particular number of cells. So I have selected these four cells from this first row. And if I right click on it, then uh, I should get actually, uh, let us just maximize it. So uh, here I have selected these cells and if I want to hide these cells, so you have to just click over here and here you will get this option of hide. If you just select on it, then what happens is after C, the column D is hidden and you have got column E. Similarly, if you want to hide a particular row, you have to select that row like this. Right click on it and go to hide. Once you click on it, you can see the first row has hidden and the row numbers that are visible are from second. Okay. Now you can just uh, press Ctrl Z to restore the things back to normal. Now, this is exactly uh, what is the feature of hide and unhide, uh, but actually I have just shown you hide. So let us just unhide it as well. Now, once the columns have been hidden, you can see that um, this kind of um, thing appears over here that there is something was present over there, but it was hidden. So if you just right click over here, you get this option of unhide. So if you just click on unhide then this column D is unhidden and you can just increase its width to anything that you like. Okay. And similarly, you can go with rows as well. So that was the feature of hide and unhide and where it is used. Suppose uh, in a company, you are preparing a spreadsheet and that contains some of the data that is not to be shown or that is not to be viewed by everyone. There is some kind of data that only a manager needs to view. There is some kind of data only an employee uh, needs to view or there is some kind of data that only the client needs to view or some kind of data needs to be hidden from the client. So in case of uh, that, you do not need to make separate spreadsheets in Microsoft Excel, but using the same spreadsheet and uh, specifying the user modes as different modes, which we have already covered in the previous video in our Excel course. You can uh, just hide some of the columns for those particular users. And when you open that sheet for that particular user, then only those columns would be visible to him, which are unhidden. So that is a pretty important feature uh, that is given to us by Microsoft Excel. And let us see that how can we hide or unhide the rows and the columns uh, using the visual basic uh, or the VBA code. So let us just minimize our Excel. So both our code, VB code, or uh, VB editor and Excel are visible. Now, first of all, let's create a new sheet. That's sheet 12. Uh, go to the insert tab and insert a new module. Now let's rename it as um, row hide. Okay, so that's the name of our module. And let's first start by creating a sub procedure. So write SUB for sub procedure and in the sub procedure, uh, you got to write its name, which is nothing but row hide. So this is going to be the name of our macro open and close the parenthesis and uh, adding of the end sub means that yes, Visual Basic has recognized this as a sub procedure. Now what we are going to do is actually write our code. So uh, what code we are going to write is first of all, we are going to hide some of the rows. Okay. So for that, we are going to use the range function as always. So let's use the range function and in the range function, uh, let us just reference a particular cell or a single cell. Suppose you want to hide the eighth row. So what you got to search for is A8. You got to write A8, close the double quotes, close the parenthesis, put a dot and search for something written as rows. Now here you do not need to search for row, but you have to search for rows. There are two things, row and rows. You have to search for rows. That's a plural. Put a tab, then put a dot. And then you have to search for something called as hidden. Uh, now once that's written, 
you have to provide the value as true the true value for hidden indicates that yes we are going to hide our rows and if you provide a value as false that means that you want to unhide your rows so just provide it with true and let's run this so you might have noticed that uh, after the row number seven what we have got is the row number nine and the row number eight which was previously visible to us has now been hidden that is because of this line of code similarly instead of a8 suppose you want to just hide any other row suppose you want to hide uh, a12 basically a is just for reference so 12 is the row that we want to hide so just provide rows this plural form dot hidden over here and set its value as true now if you just run it uh, now you can notice that right now this 12 row is visible over here but now if we just run this code using f5 then what will happen is this row would go away okay so it asks us to select our macro row hide and just run it now you can see that this uh, row number 12 has been hidden and that's how you can go with it now once you have hidden the rows you decide that no now i want to unhide them and you want to unhide the rows so how can you go with it is you can simply uh, just type the same syntax and instead of true what value you need to provide is false this time so a false value will indicate to vb that uh, now you want to unhide those rows and you can just write this false simply like this and uh, one by one let's run the code by using the step into function that is the f8 shortcut first of all the row number eight so you got to uh, divert your attentions over here so this is the row okay and if i just press f8 let's just get the focus here and you can see after seven the row number eight is now visible clearly and now for the row number 12 let's just again press f8 and you can see that the row number 12 is now visible as well so that's how you can unhide the rows but that was for a single row however if you want to perform the same action for the multiple rows then how can you go with it let's just delete this piece of code and write a fresh piece of code that is using the range function what you can do simply is provide a range of rows like from a1 till a10 is the rows you want to hide uh, you gotta put a dot search for rows put a dot again and search for hidden and then you can provide the value as true and that's it if you run this code then 1 to 10 rows are hidden and the row number you can see starts from 11 right now if you want to unhide it then you can simply press uh, or provide its value as false and when you run it 1 to 10 are again visible all the rows are visible so that's one method of uh, referring to a range of rows but what happens um, if you want to search for any other method if you do not want to provide it with a column name then what you can do is uh, use the method that we learned in the previous video that you provide a, a number this is the column number then you put a colon and then you provide the number of rows that you want to hide so i want to hide 13 rows then uh, put a double quotes put a parenthesis put a dot search for the plural rows put a tab again put a dot search for something called hidden put a tab put equals and then change its value to true now if you just run it then you can see 13 rows have hidden and the row number now starts from 14 so if you just change its value back to false then what happens is all the rows would be visible so that was all about uh, hiding the rows and unhiding them similar things can be done with the help of columns also what you got to do for that is instead of this row what you got to provide it with is columns now uh, there should be this plural columns as well uh, like you use this plural rows there must be this plural columns and uh, for this columns you have to select the letters suppose we want to hide columns from a till h so a colon h is what you need to provide and just change its value to true 
Now if you just run this piece of code, then A to H columns have hidden and now the columns start from I. But if you want to hide a single column, so let's say you want to hide column number uh, O1. You can just select O1 and you can just run it and you can see after N, O is hidden and P is now visible. So if you want to unhide it, you can just change its value to false. And you can run it and see that O is now visible. So that is all for today's video in which you learned about how to hide and unhide the rows and columns in Microsoft Excel using the Visual Basic code. That's all for the video and I hope you all have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.